Hi everyone and welcome to this episode. So in today's video we are going to start off with uh, testing some things because we have done a lot of things so far so it's, it is actually uh, the time to actually test what we have actually uh, done. So we are going to be doing that in this video so we are going to also learn how we can add uh, messages in the in the chat app or in the chat page so without any further ado let's get into it but don't forget uh, or actually make sure you join uh, the learn no code community by just subscribing to this channel also if you want to be the first one to be notified whenever i post something new on this channel about how you can develop apps with the uh, front row and, and how actually you can learn no code to bring your ideas into life without knowing how to code then definitely turn on the bell icon so you will not miss my upcoming content so with that out of the way let's get into it so here for uh, this test so you so but actually before doing that i have seen that so i have made some changes first so for the stack to don't have to text to not just uh, to avoid some mistakes you may want to add the image let's view and this in this order right you may want to do that if you like and you can wrap that those things in, in a row but you may want to actually take a look at uh, so i have removed a stack in the column so you may want just to re try to do so but the most important thing is to put the image list view and those icons in this order to not have uh, any problem so now let's ba go back to our test so for for leo so here we are we have actually we are actually logged in as uh, leo so uh, and now we can actually go to plus here we can go uh, to find some participants so now let's see so let's first add john and then we can actually add uh, jack right and now we can navigate back and guys you can see that uh, for leo he has so you see that the custom codes actually are working very well we are actually taking the the image of the other person as well as his name so john so now we are leo we are having a chat with these guys so if we went for example to john we will have that he has a chat with leo so let's actually try that so you see that for john he has actually a conversation or a chat with leo right so now guys everything is working as we so this is so but this is actually better than the one that i have just made for myself in the beginning of this place or the one that i have shown you in the part number one or in the pre overview uh, episode which, which was actually the, the first one we haven't actually used to do so or to to use an image for the the guest but we have managed to do so in this uh, in this example and now it is very nice and it is working as we have actually expected so now let's actually move on to the next step so we had, this was just a test now we can do move on and do something that is more complicated and more fun because whenever we say complicated we mean fun so let's move on to the next step so now actually this was the chat page or maybe this is actually the first time we take a look at this one so uh, because uh, this is the last thing that you can actually configure so for this one so what we need to do actually so uh, we want to what we want to do is just to so here we have a message field isn't it? you see it is just a text field you can see it from here and i have called it the message field so and here we have an icon so what this icon does is that it will go and so inside this chat for so if uh, we have a chat between jack and john it will go to inside that specific chat it will use its id and it will go and create a message and it's gonna create the sender id the sender the sender name and the tc so uh so you see that uh, we so for each chat we are going to have a, a list of messages so we are going to have thousands of messages inside each chat so let's do that so let's go back to actually our main page here let's go down and click on that so what we are going to be doing is that we are going to be creating a document right create a document and in what collection we are going to be creating documents inside right so we are going to create that inside the messages and since the messages is a sub collection so you can see there they are ask, actually asking you for a reference for the chat because we, they are asking you for the for the parent so that's gonna be a, a problem so because we don't so here but actually i have already done this because this was uh, something that i have covered for my, for my previous or from my previous uh, uh, project so i have already used a page parameter 
uh, and I have taken the ID. So I have just so the reference that, uh, that uh, you, Flutterflow is asking me for, I have already used a page parameter that I have just brought from the other page. First thing, so we want to go here. So uh, what? So we first need to do actually is to add uh, a navigation action. So if we click on this container, we can navigate to uh, that page. So uh, we can navigate to uh, the chat page, right? And we since the chat page has uh, a parameter that I have just shown you, uh, we can go to pass not this parameter, but the other. Maybe this has needs needs to be actually uh, passed since it is a parameter, but the one we care the most about is this chat id so we want to take this chat id and paste it to the other one so let's check let's take its reference its chat chat's reference and if we use this if we need it actually this it is a participants id uh, you can check it from there we if, in case we used we needed that so now we are pasting that so for this icon it will know so we are using parameters so now we are giving the id so this icon will know what to when where to create so what is the chat that which we have to create a sub collection inside that is called messages so now if we created a sub collection that is called messages we want to add a field and uh, the field that we so you may want to add all the fields uh, for instance so for the messages it's going to be what the user has put it here and uh, it's going to be from a widget uh, widget state it's going to be from this field so we're going to take that and put it here and for the sender ID, who is this going to be the sender? It is the authenticated user, right? Because you cannot send. So that that's very logical, right? The sender ID and also the sender name. Maybe we sometimes we may want to actually use the sender uh, uh, image. So I will be adding that in case I needed it. I needed that. So uh, so for the sender name, it's going to be the display and the time of that message is going to be the current time. It's going to be from the global properties the current time and that's it so and we can actually go here for the message and add another field called so it is called sender image uh, it is called sender image and it's going to be image path validate that and also so if we are so if we are going to create so you see that this is the just the custom functions you, you need to actually compile that but what is important for us is to go back here and add the, the other field that the new field and the image of the sender is going to be the image of the authenticated user, right? So we're going to be the authenticated user photo URL. We're going to be using that. So now we are just so what what is happening is we are going to be creating a message. But uh, this is just this step. We are going to move on to the next step. which is going to be very short. So for this step, so after we have so after we have uh, added a message to that chat, so you may actually guys you see that here we have. A, f a text this is uh, the last message that was actually sent inside that uh, inside that uh, a specific uh, chat right so I have tried so by the way I have tried to write this while I'm looking at the screen so I have managed to make some make some mistakes but it is also a very nice experience by the way so for the last message so this is where you want to see the last message so you need to ask yourself uh, you need to first ask yourself that where you want to get that from so you see that in the chest we have less message so it is very simple so in the process so in uh, so for each message that was added by some user so for each message is going to be actually moved forward to the last message so uh, here we want to so after we have created a message we want to actually by the way we want to clear the text field that is so we want to clear it it's going to be we want to clear that we don't want to keep the message there but we want to also update a document we want to update a document we want to update the chat so we already have this here and we want to just update the last message of the chat that we are already in so we want to set it to uh what so before we so so since we are clearing the text field so we want to check this down and before we clear it we want to check the, the message from there and put it here in the last message right so we want to from variable and we want to take it from uh, uh, the, the that widget state here 
so after we have made this we can actually clear that and it's going to be very fun and that is that is actually for it guys uh, this is, was the video so but before i forgot guys uh, so this was the last video on this chat and this playlist so the the rest of the videos or the process where or actually the, the list of videos were are going to be actually taking our chat up to the next level we are going to actually make it very close to whatsapp so uh, this means that there are a lot of skills that are going to be packed in the video pack that you will be finding in the description as well so uh, you will find it from my coffee page if you are already one of my members on coffee you will take you will get actually 30 percent off so all the details are going to be available from uh, the description and i cannot wait to see you on my coffee shop so it's going to be actually again from my from the description go now and check it out don't be don't be lazy go and check it out right now so you can actually get the best out of uh, uh, your money you will be spending you will be in so it is not just spending money it is going to be like you are investing your money uh, it's going to be actually very cheap you will be investing your money in learning new things so uh, don't be shy and don't be lazy go and invest in yourself and uh, in your knowledge so you'll be the best one and uh, you will learn no code in no time so uh, thank you guys so much for watching and see you on the next one